Hey, what's going on guys? Comic Games here. In this video I'd like to present a chess engine written by one of my subscribers. His name is Kurt Peters and he has created a chess engine in TypeScript, which is a superset of JavaScript, which is called KHerpy Chess. So let's have a look at the repository and here we go. So it has the API just like WukunJS and this is really nice. The hash table, but the most important thing that it that it uses uh, this newly supported big integers to represent 64-bit uh, number integers in JavaScript, which makes it a second engine in the world, as far as I'm aware, which implements bit boards in JavaScript natively. So the first one is Tommy Tan Chess, but it uses uh, well, actually, Losa Losa probably is also using bit boards, I believe. I might be wrong, but I don't remember. Yeah, probably it uses big boards as well. So yeah, probably this is the third engine. I'm sorry, uh, but in but in those two uh, guys has been using two integers to represent a single bit board uh, and a hash key as well, like the upper hash, lower cache, like upper bits for a bit board, lower bits for a bit board. But here we have yeah we have just uh, big integers, big ends here. So only a single number is needed to represent a bit board. And doing this in JavaScript, I don't know, you, you really need to have iron balls to go for this. I, I did this in C, but in JavaScript, this is really awesome. I also made engine in JavaScript, but uh, I wasn't using bit boards there. So yeah, I'm really proud of this work. So feel free to have a look at the source code. This, this, this is a real masterpiece. So I really like how everything is, uh, is done and especially that, that there is only one file for the entire source. So the, the entire source code is only one file, which is really, really awesome. So I think, yeah, that's a really kind of good thing to consider. Okay, and also bearing in mind the fact that this engine is, uh, that this engine is written in JavaScript, obviously we can play directly in the browser. So without further ado, let's, actually have a look so I want to open the console and here we would be having like the UCI search information so I can probably make it like this and okay so I know how to play let's start with e4 uh, yeah probably just malforms the output slide a little bit yeah I see some issues in the board output but it's not really essential well let's let's better Keep the board centralized. So what well, all I wanted to see, so it has, yeah, it has the principal variation, it has the depth being shown, so it plays up to depth four in this, ah, oh, depth five. Yeah, probably just fix, fix time mode here, so probably one second per move, I believe. Okay, okay, so yeah, let's have a look what we can do here. Okay, so can I play d4? Okay. Okay, great. So... Knight to e2. Well, I, really, I already like his positional structure. And yeah, it's impressive. That is impressive. Okay, so if I play the knight a year, year, drops back. Maybe I should redirect instantly. Yeah, probably, probably I, I go to, G, to, to G3 with my knight. Ah, oh, I just lost a piece. I wasn't clever, really. Okay. This wasn't really clever. Okay. Okay, let's grab the knight. Okay. Yeah, I was. Um, seems seems like I'm losing a queen here, which is very horrible. <laughs> okay. Okay, I resigned this, so let's let's try another one. Okay, so okay, Herpy Chess one point, Go Monkey King zero points. Let's kick start again. 
okay I want one game versus, versus this engine uh, I'm just wondering I'm just wondering how can I I don't remember the move order I, I remember I've blundered the pawn at the very beginning here and I'm not sure what did I do next so probably something like this okay I'll just a pawn down at the moment okay takes not that was another game but th this one has potential I believe maybe oh what's wrong with the castling oh it just uh it's just not updated yeah uh Kurt if you were, if you're gonna be watching these videos uh have a look at how to imp how to implement castling in uh in chessboard js they have some examples on how to do this properly so every time you castle you just get instant update of the of the chessboard instead of wait waiting and up to the next move so that that can be easily done in that sort of way so yeah okay so i want to put a pressure on b7 okay protect good uh what else so maybe hitting the bishop and offering the exchange of bishops at the same time yeah this is it okay can i can i sacrifice here say takes takes here yeah i just i really want to go for this sacrifice because the, the game i won versus this engine uh it was really like uh tactically tactically believe it or not it's really uh strange because usually you shouldn't go in a tactical mode versus engines but in this case it was it was the case okay so where to go so it doesn't have a light square bishop i think well not the best ever place for a queen but anyway okay so I just want to open the F file and start the king hunt. Yeah, well, very very nice defense here, but just want to keep going. Uh, I have no idea whether it, whether the engine has much knowledge on uh, king safety. I'm not sure. Yeah, so I can check here. Okay, this is getting interesting. This is getting really interesting. So if I say go here, so he takes with the knight, uh, he takes with the bishop. No, it's not a good idea. If I just sacrifice here, nope. Uh, what can I do? Uh, say undermining yeah probably i need to go for undermining move okay so now if i take takes takes uh and then try to connect the rook somehow or hold on a sec if i go here and then here and he doesn't take he can't take yeah i think It has a, a nasty rook, a, a nasty move, yeah, with a rook, though. Mm. And this might be a real issue. However, say here it takes. No, it's nothing there, really. Yeah. It doesn't seem that I can do anything useful. So here, here it takes maybe. Oh, uh, oh, uh, and oh man, yeah, I'm really forced to exchange the queens, and I think I'm doomed. After, yeah, I think I'm doomed. Well, this past pawn might have some potential, but yeah, I'm not sure. So, so hold on a sec. If we just go here. It just grabs the pawn, right? So, well, if I go here, well, I'll 
this is pretty bad. Mm. I can't grab the bishop because uh, actually I lose instantly after uh, taking the pawn. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, I think I should take because otherwise I just get mated. Am I? And I'm just a piece down here. Well, if he goes for a check, then my bishop is doomed. So I need to... Okay, if I now take, then he takes protecting. Okay, so if I go here... Yeah, probably. Maybe at least I can give a check. Doesn't do much, but... Okay, now, hold on, now I can protect the pawn, but not for a long time. Yeah, it seems like a completely lost position to me. Well, and if I just protect the pawn, oh no, it just takes it from from the bottom, right? Okay, can grab this one at our list. Yeah, a very very unfortunate thing. Yeah, just quench this one. Oh my god, what have I done? Hold on a sec, what, what was it? Oh, it just exchanged. Well, this is interesting. Is this, is this a maiden sequence? Oh yeah, just the tactics. Yeah, so well done. What can I say? Really kind of well done, so. I resent here as well. Okay, well, guys, so this is it from my side. Thanks for watching. Make sure to check the K Herpy chess out and have fun playing with it. And you can also play uh, using the USAC protocol to challenge the other engines. So, yeah, this is it from my side. Thanks for watching. Until the next time, and take care.